Jason Stewart here with Stewart State's team. Wanted to talk to you real quick about your credit score and what it takes to buy a home. Now a lot of people think their credit is bad and they're trying to get it higher and higher and higher or even if their credit is good they think oh I'm going to get it even better, get it from a 600 to a 700, a 700 to an 800 so I get a lower interest rate. The reality is most people are buying FHA, your interest rate is going to be pretty much the same if you have a 630 or an 830. So you might not want to spend too much time working on that. When interest rates are low, you might want to get in sooner than later. Also, 620 is the cutoff line to get you a good interest rate, make it easier to qualify for a loan. And a lot of times people say, well, I want to work on my credit before I go trying to buy a home. But they don't understand how to get their credit better. Common sense says pay down your debt, right? If you've had something that was delinquent, put some money on it and start to pay that down and it'll look better on your credit. Not always the case. That's why I always strongly advise you to come talk to me. Let me set you up with one of my loan officers to put a plan together to get your credit in the best situation to buy. Examples of this. You got some old credit card that you haven't made payments on in several years. Now that's old debt. That's reported on your credit as an old problem. Now, as soon as you make a payment on that, that's considered new debt, new problems. And that's going to create your, uh, that's going to make it to where your credit score can go down. And the lenders look at that as, you know, this is something that he's dealing with now. So let's not give him a loan. So that's one example that seems like it makes common sense to pay it off when sometimes you just want to leave that alone and let it fall off your credit. Another example, you got a credit card. Well, let me pay it off and close out that account. That'll show less debt. As soon as you close that account, you have a, a one less account, and it's not going to be positively affecting your credit. So pay your credit card off. That's fine, but leave the accounts open. You can cut them up, but don't close them out. Another thing, car loans. So sometimes people have a real small car payment, and they want to pay it off. Well, when you pay it off, a car loan is one of the main things that really helps your credit. It looks really strong on a credit report when you have a car loan. So sometimes, yeah, you got a high car payment and you only owe a little bit, it makes sense to pay that off so you can qualify for a little bit more. But sometimes if it's not really a big car payment, it, it might hurt your credit more than it helps it. So these are just some general examples. Uh, meet with us so we can figure out what it takes to get your credit score as high as possible. Also, you might not want to put all your money and from your savings and pay off credit cards with it. Because sometimes you're paying off your credit cards, but then you don't look as strong because you don't have any reserves in the bank. So sometimes you want to wait till after you buy and then pay those credit cards off and show that you got some money in the bank. All depends on the loan and the individual situation. So give us a call and we'll let you know what we can do to help. It's completely free. We'll run, run your credit if we have to. We won't charge you for it. And we'll put a plan together to where maybe three, six, three, six or 12 months down the road you could buy. All right, Jason Stewart, Stewart Estates team. Thanks so much. Hope that helps.